Okay, so it says, how much more intense is an earthquake with a magnitude of 9.5 on the Richter scale than one with a magnitude of 7.6? So this kind of problem, I've talked about this uh, with you, but I'll give you the equation. I'll tell you what the variables mean. M is magnitude, I is the intensity, and S is like essentially zero, like a standard earthquake, a baseline. But it's not zero. It's just kind of like your starting point. All right, how much more intense is an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.5, so m equals m1, than one with a magnitude of 7.6, m2? So um, we do m1 minus m2, the difference between them. Let's see what that is. 9.5 minus 7.6, I think a 95 minus 76, which is 1.9. Okay, so now we know the difference between them is 1.9. But that really means the this one right here is the log of the first intensity over S. And this one is the log, I'll call I1, of the second intensity for the second earthquake over S. And that equals 1.9. And here, let me write this down. What is this? Laws of logarithm says that that means that's the same thing as the log of I sub 1 over S divided by I sub 2 over S. And if we divide by a fraction, we keep change flipped, right? Take the first fraction, multiply by the reciprocal of the second, and the s's cancel out. So we get the log of i sub 1 over i sub 2, and that equals 1.9. But what do we do with this? We can rewrite this using the definition of a log. This is base 10. So 10 to the 1.9 equals the ratio of the two intensities. So it'll tell you how much more intense uh, one intensity is in the other, so it's going to be 10 to the point, not to the point, to the 1.9, which is uh, 79 times um, more intense. So this one right here, the language, uh, I do admit, is a little confusing. It says how much more, right, intense. But ultimately, uh, this ratio right here, of these two, we're dividing. But that has to do with the subtraction right here, how much more intense. When you subtract exponents, you're really dividing uh, essentially the basis, right? If you think about the way exponential logarithms work. So that's that's the little caveat there into the language, how much more usually associate with subtraction, which we did do here. But that leads us towards a division problem. So be careful with that. Thanks.